man, kind of a follow-up video to the earlier video, but the Modern Mystic did a follow-up video to his video. And, um, basically conceding sort of a point I've been making for a long time, um, that money isn't really money. It doesn't really, it's just contract paper. I've called it that a lot of times. All of it. Stocks, whatever. Whatever it is. Denominated in dollars, it's a contract. And there's good contracts and bad contracts. So you could argue that cash is kind of a good contract as long as you don't start printing it like crazy. And that stock is like really bad contract paper in the sense that, you know, it's a claim on a couple of pennies to the dollar kind of thing in terms of a real asset, real stuff. So that's, he doesn't like the idea of me stuffing the economy. Um, breaking it down and just saying it's all claims on the stuff that exists because the stuff that doesn't exist, the future claims, the claims on future labor or future productivity or future profits, those claims as it is now can be converted into claims on current stuff. And in a bad economy, if any kind of badness shows up, everybody's going to want a claim or contract on real stuff not future stuff and not like vacuous maybe stuff now they're going to want to claim that is real and like a stock doesn't mean anything in a bad economy um, it doesn't have any stuff value it um, it's too too it's a tiny sliver of a real pie that it's an entitlement to so i even wrote it down here as a add-on I guess I should have, in this diagram where we had savings account, credit card, um, you know, taxes is what I did with this little T here. I should have made that as a representation of, like, your income. So the government's income is taxes. And, um, you know, just to make this make a little more sense. And the only thing the government has that you don't have is this idea of where it can actually print money. But there's only a limited amount of that that the government actually does print. Um, but anyway, it's all the rest of this is contracts, and some of it's good contract paper and bad. And so, like I said, basically say money equals a claim on stuff. And that equal sign cash, because cash is like having stuff. And then gold is like having cash in certain circumstances, except when gold's way overpriced. <laughs> and, you know, they've turned it into stuff. Um, but what people really want is real stuff. They want stuff that people are going to need uh, that's going to have a durable price, a durable value. And so this idea of future stuff, uh, for future claims on labor, this is all stuff that doesn't have much real value. And that when things start to go bad, all the money is going to go to the real stuff. And the real stuff is going to get really expensive because all the claims are going to be rushing to buy the real deal. So that's when prices go insane. And that's when the inflation shows up, is when money runs out of that stock market and starts buying all the commodities. So I don't know if there's not much more to say. I mean, I don't know if I have to really go into a whole thing on this, right? <laughs> I mean, this is probably enough of an add-on. Um, so I guess the important fact, I mean, if, if the important thing to add on is that um, making these claims into the future has no immediate impact. It just has future impact in the sense that if you're making claims you can't pay, it's like spending on the credit card. If it's debt that won't go away, then you're basically um, bleeding part of your productivity to this constant financing of debt. I mean, debt's not made not to go away. And so you could argue that a lot of debt that's created does go away. It has a termination date, like a house mortgage or something. It finally dies, and you have to create new debt, um, you know, to keep breaking the game. And so they, they have accomplished that in the sense that everything requires more debt to purchase nowadays than it used to require. You only had to acquire this much debt to buy a car in the past, and now you've got to acquire this much debt to buy a car. And the same with houses and everything else. The amount of debt you have to incur as a percentage has gone up. And the debt's becoming um, permanent rather than 
temporary. And so that's another difference, is that debt, once it becomes permanent, just becomes a kind of tax. You just have to pay it every year to finance the debt, and you end up financing your debt many times over. You end up paying for the, the liability of the debt many times over, um, over time. And the only people that can afford to buy the debt are people that can afford in the short run to spend more money to, to make more money over the long term. But that's the only way debt works is over the long term. And when we're in a bad economy and it's all short term economy, that ain't going to work anymore. Because everybody's just going to be thinking, I got to do something, I got to own something or my money loses value. So they're going to try to own something and they're going to be bidding awful high to own and that's the inflation that debt causes yeah so i mean all the debt they're writing now like a stock certificate just really garbage piece of paper but all that garbage paper is going to get try to get converted into ownership of something real when things go south ish <laughs> in some kind of major way. Um, and the reason why it has to go southish in a major way is all of this debt that's been created has to be financed. And the finance, the rent, the rent is too high. The rent is now so high that you can't afford to live here anymore. It's, it's too, it's bleeding too much of the productive labor's value, it's sucking too much of it to finance the high cost of the rich. They're, they're, they're sucking too big an income out of too little an economy. And that's not sustainable. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so that's enough. A little, just a little add on. There, short video. There. Say thank you, Gary. Yeah, I wanted to make it this morning, just didn't have time. No, I'm tired. Well, that's why I kept it short. It's because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good enough. So, yeah, all, all paper that has a dollar denomination on it is essentially debt paper. It's essentially a claim on the stuff that exists. And this, any claims on future stuff will be converted into claims on present stuff in a hard economy.